before we start this video, I would like to emphasize and have a little disclaimer that this does not mean, this is not really a forecast of uh, a cold fall. This is just speculation that I found or speculation about fall that I've an accident really found by doing analog research, which I do on a daily basis, and I just wanted to share you with this, and literally it is why this upcoming pattern change could set the stage for a very cold fall. Um, you know, this uh, it's not a 100% chance, and this is just speculation, and I really wanted to share it with you. So, uh, again, I, I apologize if this sounds a little bit too aggressive, but that's, you know, it's not supposed to be that way. Also, uh, consider subscribing before we get into this video. Uh, thank you so much, and enjoy the video. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. So today's upload is going to be an episode on why this upcoming pattern change could set the stage for a pretty chilly fall. And I've made a similar video like this in the past and it was talking about a different pattern change about July. But now I'll be showing you why this pattern change, which would be leading to a cold August potentially, would indicate a chilly fall. And I'll show you why a cold August may, you know, indicate a chilly fall. So that's what this video is about. If you like anything that's weather related content, if you like uh, watching these videos, if you like, uh, if you like anything about weather, I'll tr tr tracking snowstorms, uh, hurricanes. Any big major weather event, uh, you could subscribe to this channel. I've been doing this for four years, and I really enjoy doing this. It's a pleasure of mine to do this, and I, I really, I really enjoy making these videos for you. So really consider subscribing <coughs> down below. And uh, let's look right now. Let me show to you what the models are showing, and then I'll show you why this means a chilly fall. So first, let's you know, let's prove it to you, if you will, that uh, this August will be. Uh, on the chilly side so right now we're looking at or at least the beginning part of August but it's looking based on the teleconnections which I am not showing in this video I may show it in a different video why uh, you know they're also showing a pretty a chilly end to August as well so we know that and sorry about the sniffling I, I have a little bit of a uh, runny nose it's not really a cold though so I apologize about that but let's look at the uh, ECMWF model. It's the European 500 millibar geopotential height. And this basically shows us where the troughs and the ridges are going to form. And if you know anything about meteorology, uh, you know that the troughs and ridges basically, when there's a ridge over a certain area, there's usually warm air. When there's a trough over a certain area, that's usually chilly air. So let's look at the European model. Uh, notice how in the, this is around the Tuesday of this week time frame so if you're watching this on Sunday it's this upcoming Tuesday how there is a, a low pressure right there um, bringing in some chillier air from the north it allows this a uh, pattern you can see how it shifts and it goes something like this not too terribly uh, chilly air but uh, you could see that the cold air will have an allowing uh, will be allowed to enter the very chilly air will be above this line you know very noticeable however it will be still be noticeable Along here, you notice how it gets cooler. Um, it'll be it'll be noticeable along uh, these areas as well, except the degree and the magnitude of the chill will be more noticeable of this above this second line. If we go forward into now, uh, let's quickly exit out of this. Let's go to our uh, 72 right now. And notice how it starts moderating this pattern a bit. 96, hour 96, we could get a little bit of a warm-up. However, that doesn't last too long. As you can see, it starts pushing back. The chill wants to uh, make a comeback into the United States. And uh, I want to make emphasis, this is only one model. This is the European model. And I start off by showing this European model because many people always want me to show the European model. However, I, I will also be showing you guys the GFS in this video. If we go to hour 144, nothing too remarkable yet. Uh, still, you can see it's it's not a heat wave, but it's uh, more of a ridging pattern. So we get a little bit more of warm air. But then this is where the pattern starts breaking and we see a, a potentially a big chill. Notice how it really dives in here. And that's the, the little, uh, I called it like the interesting feature on my video a couple days ago and that is uh, it's making now its way down into the US and you could see that 
if we were to draw out the trough, it's fairly noticeable right there, especially across the eastern U.S. The jet streams riding something like that, and the winds along it are bringing in the cold air or chilly air at this time of the year uh, into the eastern and central United States, which is uh, which is definitely going to be noticeable. So uh, that's the European model. If we go to the GFS. Sorry about that. Uh, this is the latest model run. Uh, this is the 12Z, the Sunday. So it also see how it shows a little bit of that troughing maybe across next week Sunday, just a tad bit, nothing too awfully big. But then um, notice how I mean this. The GFS shows it even more. A fairly strong ridge. Um, this one's actually very powerful. You could see how uh, it's also not necessarily bringing it down too far south but the magnitude of it to the north. I mean, look at that. That that green right there, that is around the 564, 558 um, thickness line. And, and we are about right here for some of locations up in southern Canada. And down here is where it is, the 32 degree line. So obviously, yes, this is still probably the 60s and 50s, but it gets pretty chilly for the beginning parts of August. And this is as far as it goes, the new model run. If we go to the previous one, notice it has the same, very same feature, uh, pretty big chill off. It doesn't obviously last for awfully too long, but it definitely, there is no signs of a heat wave. Notice how the, the worst of the heat stays down to the south. And these re dark red colors is what we had a couple of weeks ago across much of the United States when there was heat advisories and heat warnings. That is way off to the south and east. And notice how we could be looking at a little bit more of a troughing pattern. So uh, that is definitely uh, noticeable. And if we were to look at the 2 meter temperature anomalies, notice how uh, there is a little bit of a warm up, but the blues are also there. And I want to show you that little... A cool off trend right there look at that that's a pretty noticeable blast and that's not only going to be the only one notice how there's a little bit of a break but then there's another one and uh, you know this this is really hard to predict in nature because a lot of these models are switching back and forth uh, because the summer is very hard to predict I mean we could have you know daytime heating uh, just one thunderstorm cool things off and start a mini cold front and it really it's more dynamic that's what I'm trying to get at that the pattern is way more dynamic during the summer and if we were to look at the CPC which many people think you know they're like oh this kid doesn't know anything what he's talking about climate prediction centers are the best well you could see that the 8 to 14 day outlook is also showing chillier temperatures nothing remarkably cold or or at least their confidence isn't high in that but they're definitely showing a below average region for the US and I want to show you why this is uh, monumental in terms of uh, showing the uh, in terms of showing the uh, in terms of indicating a cold fall so let's go to this slide presentation and I want to uh, enlarge this soon so let's go to present and I want to show you this so uh, sorry about that unofficial little transition right there but that's you know that's the best I could do I guess and uh, let's go back to uh, subscribe yeah but this video is gonna be why this upcoming pattern change sets the stage for a very cold fall you already know um, again consider subscribing I really appreciate I really appreciate it a lot it means a lot so if we were to look at August of 2014, 2013, 2009, 2004, all these years had uh, historically chilly Augusts, and uh, and I, you know, this magnitude may seem whoa. Look at that. That is very Arctic air. Well, it's not Arctic air. You could see that it's only 0 0.08 of a degree of difference. It's just that uh, it's uh, they're showing that these colors are uh, deep because it's over a span of so many years yet it still is below average that's why the significance and the increments is the increments are much smaller and the significance is much greater since it's over a course of several years not just one year where you could just get one pattern set up and you could get above average temperatures usually if this was over say two years um, and it was showing this cold, it would be negative 6, negative 8 degrees in difference. But notice how this August of all these years is chilly. So I don't know and I don't think that it will be this chilly this August. I think it will be a little bit more moderating. But uh, many of these years uh, that even had the moderate August still ended up producing a chilly fall. So you can see that the cold August usually produces a chillier September as well. 
Maybe not as great as in magnitude, but notice how there's a little bit of warming up here. But there's uh, this this uh, this blue blob that's just stuck in here, and that's kind of what we've been seeing across the United States. We've been seeing. I've been explaining this in a couple of my past videos that uh, that there's this warm up pattern right here, and uh, it's basically uh, it's keeping this blob of chillier air with no place to go the bermuda high spinning up winds right there this thing's kind of keeping control over there this warm air from a high pressure over here and this kind of just sits around it loses its magnitude over you know over a period of time and if you go into october you could see that it weakens however it still makes an impact and makes a below average september which makes a cold fall in return and this is the October uh, of all those years. You could see not as uh, chilly in terms of the anomalies. Uh, a little bit chillier across the west, maybe a bit across the uh, the Great Lakes. Nothing too remarkable. A little bit warmer, maybe across the central U.S. And if we were to look at now November, this is kind of like the interesting one. Look how um, significant this is. Uh, they have a very significant correlation. So again, this isn't uh, you know a set in stone uh, long range prediction i guess if you want to you know it's not a model but it's the analogs which in my opinion analogs are a very historical historically accurate uh sense of what we could be looking at all you got to do is find a certain pattern that is occurring now and see how that certain pattern that occurred now in years past affected the upcoming months and that's basically what i did in this video and you could see that the november possibly being very chilly now i'm not saying you know that this is gonna happen i'm just saying that this is a possibility this is the overall fall by the way of all those years you could see a generally chilly fall i don't think it will be this chilly um this fall but um i want to emphasize that i think it will be though uh, on the chillier side that's why my fall outlook says that and this is um this was just uh, from a previous video because I used so this is not really important because I used the slides from the same video um, because uh, I found that the August and July and the whole summer had a similar pattern so basically this is from a previous video that I used all these slides it's just that I modified it into using August instead of July so this may seem similar that's why so uh, thank you guys so much for watching consider liking consider subscribing and I'll catch you all guys on the next episode see ya Bye.